Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Senza Tempo Cunny Corso. So I am here with the carry litter and I know you guys haven't seen them yet. Um, as I told you guys before, there are going to be times whenever I have litters um, because of the way that I'm having to do it right now where they're not on my property. And if, if the, if the people are, are cool with it, like, you know, um, Reese and, and her family, that's one thing, but, um, I don't like to mess with people, um, like other people. And so this, this litter, um, this litter is over at the place where I got Tillicum from. And so, um, Anyway, so I didn't really want to mess with them and, you know, bother them, be like, hey, can I come video, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, this blue puppy here, he's got that, that blue funk we tell you guys about that a lot of the blue puppies get. It's like a superficial um, puppy pyoderma, basically like a, it's a superficial skin, um, like, I guess like a bacterial overgrowth, I guess you could call it, that blue puppies get because they don't have as strong of immune systems when they're younger as the other puppies do, which is, um, which is brought on by their, their coloration. And we have a soap that we use, um, on their skin. It's a very simple, just a dial bar soap, yellow bar soap that's antibacterial. A couple, um, a couple baths with that and it completely disappears. So, um... I am keeping a female out of this litter, um, but the rest of the litter is already sold. And look at this puppy over here just sitting in the food bowl. Um, what are you doing just sitting in the food bowl? So the reason that I was able to get this video, shh, the reason that I was able to get this video is because of the fact that um, I had to go, um, I had to pick up Carrie. Um, to take her over to um, Morgan's house, which is what I'm about to do, so that she can help nurse the um, um, the uh, the velocity litter. And so I did bottle feed last night before I left, but um, but anyway, but they're gonna, you know, their their carry has still got milk, so there's really no reason um, not to just go ahead and, um, you know, and utilize her. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. <clears throat> um, I'm about to give this puppy a bath before I leave. Um, he's already had one in his, in this, this stuff is already drying out and then I'll do another one, but it's very superficial. You guys, this puppy, it's a little bit worse than others I've seen, but, um, <clears throat> but anyway, the blue puppies, I don't know why, but they just, we call it the, the blue funk. And, um, anyway, so, um, but yeah, aside from that, um, these guys are out of Carrie and Mad Mortigan and they had a little bit of a rough start and, um, and so their, their mom was really late, um, with producing milk and thank God these people have a goat, they have goats. And so they actually had, um, fresh goat's milk that they were able to feed them. Um, but uh, anyway, but they, you know, they, they started a little slow. They are, I think, four weeks old right now. Um, they've already been wormed twice. And um, now I'm doing the um, Fabenzanol treatment. Everything, whenever people have a litter of mine, kind of the way that it works is that I pay them. Um, they get like, uh, like they don't get a puppy, but they get the, the, the cost of a first pick spot. And, um, and then everything else I take care of. So any of the cost of medicating stuff, any of that kind of stuff I take care of. Um, one second. Okay. So, sorry about that. My um, phone was ringing and I had to, um, I had to, uh, click, click away from the call. So anyway, um, um, so yeah, so any of the, so they make their money and then any of the costs involved I, I pay for. Um, and they live right down the road from Reese. And so sometimes she'll kind of help me out. Um, an update on Reese that I wanted to give, I have really, really, really good news about Reese. So, um, her, she went in for her surgery yesterday and it was successful. And the most successful thing about it is that, um, so originally she had, um, one side of her thyroid taken out 
and this time she had the other one. And the really good thing is that the other portion that they removed was non, from what they can tell, it does not look cancerous. Um, it looked normal. And so they sent it off for testing like the other one. Uh, if it comes back normal and that there's no, um, that there's no, uh, um, cancer in it, she won't have to take the radiation pill. So I'm just super duper, 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 duper excited about that because you guys, I was worried about my girl and, um, I'm not going to lie. I was, I was, I was like yesterday, I was so nervous all day and I've got, I've had my own stuff going on that I've needed to take care of. But I, but I was like, why am I so nervous? Because I'm not worried about it. You know what I mean? Like I said, I have an issue going on right now, but I'm not worried about it. I know, I know that, um, you know, I know what the outcome is going to be. It's going to be a minor annoyance, but, you know, I know what the outcome is going to be. Um, so I wasn't really nervous about it, but I was more irritated that I was even having to do anything at all to even um, waste my time with, with this nonsense. So... Um, so I was literally thinking about, I was like, why am I so nervous? And then it dawned on me, it's like, boom, your best friend is in surgery right now. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, duh. Um, and so anyway, so it took them a long time to get her back. I think there was another surgery going on that was taking a while. Hey, baby girl. Hey, your baby girl. So I think this is the one that I like. Oh, no, baby, don't be scared. Um, she's a spicy, a spicy one. I think I'm a color. Um, if, if this is the one I keep, I think I'm a color wasabi. Oh goodness. What did you do? What did you do? What'd you do? What'd you do? You want to fight? Do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? I'll fight you. I'll fight you. I'll fight you. <laughs> I'll fight you. Did you Paul? Did you Paul? I'll fight you. What do you do? want to fight? Do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? <laughs> They're so adorable. Um, yes, you are. You're so cute. You're so cute. So I wasn't sure that they would eat this food. It's the first time they've ever had dry food. They've been on um, puppy mash, a mix of puppy mash and goat's milk. But they're eating that really good. So I think we can now switch to the dry food and the water, which will make um, these people's job a lot easier. Hey, little baby. Um... So it's it's an it's a um, old older couple. They don't watch um, YouTube. They have no interest in it. Um, it's funny to me. They have zero. I even told them I was like, you know, you could have a YouTube channel and you could actually, you know, like show the litters. And they were like, nope. <laughs> they were like, we have absolutely no interest in that. So I respect that. And like I said, I only I know is you. Um, and so I only come over when necessary. And I and I typically don't film. But I had a lot of re I know I see you. Um, I had a lot of requests to um, to show this litter, and because I was over here anyway, I know I see you. Um, because I was over here anyway, picking up um, Carrie to take her over to Morgan's. I figured, yeah, whatever, you know, I'll get a little video in. You're, you're too funny. You're funny, wasabi. You're funny, wasabi. Double, double, kimchi and wasabi. Look at your little toes. Look at your little toes. And you're my toes. You're so cute. Uh, you're so cute. Wasabi. It reminds me. It reminds me of that. Um, of that. Did anybody ever see that? Um, that little baby and the mother is like asking her if she wants some wasabi, <laughs> and and she tries to give her some and she's like no, and then. And then she tries to take it away, and the little girl goes, Wasabi! <laughs> that's, I don't know why, but that's, that was what was going through my mind just then. I was like, Wasabi! Wasabi! So, anyway, you're too cute, little dog. Yeah, these guys are, these guys are doing really good. So, very happy. Carrie had a, um,. <clears throat> a really good okay i'm taking you chill out carrie she's like can you please let me out of here i'm gonna bang around my food bowl until you let me out um anyway so um like i said yeah they're doing really good i'm very i'm very happy with her first litter i think she um you know this is a good it's a good litter uh especially considering they're kind of slower um slower start what 
It's so funny to me, too, how Carrie started off slow on her milk, and yet now her milk is so good um, through the use of the fenugreek that we are being able to utilize her to help out with Velocity. Now, I have been giving Velocity um, quite a bit of fenugreek, and I do. Um, I was talking with Morgan today. I haven't seen the litter yet, so, um, so I'll need to obviously verify this firsthand whenever I go over there. But she said that they all look a lot better today. Um, today would have been the third day that we were giving a pretty high amount of fenugreek. So it's about, you know, it, it, it can take up to 72 hours for fenugreek to really start working. So it may be the case that um, that the velocity is able to even finish up. But nonetheless, um, you know, Carrie's not needed here anymore anyway. So we're just going to take her over there. Plus, it'll help these people out because Carrie's kind of a loud um, dog. She's been barking a lot. And um, and so, um, you know, it, it, it was it was necessary for me to take her anyway. So regardless, she'll be able to provide milk support. And in the event that she's not needed, um, then I'll just come pick her up. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.